Good morning, brethren. I'm going to read Hebrews 9, 28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. We are presently looking for him. He's promised he's going to come, and, and we, we're looking, looking unto him, looking for him. Uh, he is the preeminent personality in the kingdom of God. God has set him. He's a highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. We're looking for him. That's the one we're looking for. As we live in the spirit of our God and walk in the truth, giving all diligence and making our calling and election sure, the hope of his soon appearance is, is glooming bright in the hearts of those who are waiting for him. See, we've turned from the idols of the world in order to wait for him. He's coming. He's on his way, so to speak. Now, we've come here today to see him more clearly. That's what we want to see him for who he is. Because we know that if we can just see him for who he is, we'll be changed into the same likeness from glory to glory. But we've come to exalt our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, he's the one that's coming for our conversation, or we might say our manner of living, our manner of life, is in heaven. <laughs> this is a great truth. Amen. This is a great truth. If we can get ourselves out of this present evil world and into the heavens, well, everything kind of brightens up, doesn't it? Amen. If you can fellowship with Christ, walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. It, we feel more comfortable in the heavenly realms than we do in the earthly realms. Yes. <laughs> This tells you something's happened, something's occurred. There was a time when, when you weren't so comfortable up there, but now, now that he's, he's saved you, turned you from, from what you used to be, and you're on, you're waiting. You, you're waiting for him. We've been adapted by the Holy Spirit to live more. We have more comfort zone in the person of Christ Jesus, in his person. We live and move in him. We might say our citizenship is in heaven. Amen. You don't feel comfortable down here no more. It's just like it kind of grates against your spirit. What happened? Well, your citizenship's been, it's in another place. We're in the process of being transplanted, transplanted into a better environment. You know, I mean, there's a sense in which you're already saved, and there's another sense in which it's, you're on the way to being saved. We're looking forward to Jesus because we fit more into the heavenly environment than into the earthly environment. Our conversation, we can say this, is in heaven. Wow. From whence also we look for the Savior. We're looking for him. He's promised to come. We're looking for him. We're, our eyes are steadfast. Now it's from this high and holy environment that we're filled. We're filled with hope for the, the anticipation of his coming. See, this lively hope, this actually will sanctify you. It will allow you to, to, to be able to make the decisions that have to be made. Yet we've made a decision today to come here. How did that happen? Because, see, this, this hope, this hope's gloom and bright. We, we're not looking for a temporary fix for our condition. God's already given us the fix. Walk in the Spirit. Wait. Wait for my Son from heaven, and this will produce in you a hope. That'll, this will sanctify you from, from the environment that you're presently in. We're looking for a soon return because we desire to serve him without distraction. See, there's it's coming a day when, when you have a body like on his glorious body, you'll serve him without distraction. There'll never be a time when, when you, you have to give any. You, you'll never have to confess sin again. Sin will be gone. It'll be gone from your presence You'll not have a body that cleaves to the dust. You'll have one look like his glorious body. We're looking for Jesus to come because he's going to change our vile body. He's going to fashion it, refashion it like unto his glorious body. According to the working whereby he's able to, the, to subdue all things unto himself. So there's a coming a time he's going to subdue all things. And we're looking, we're looking for that. That's why we're looking for him. We're looking for a soon return because Jesus has promised to come. This is not an empty hope. He's promised. He says, if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. We're waiting for him because of this thing he's promised. 
We're looking, looking for a soon return because Jesus has promised to reward those that wait. There's some incentive. He's holding out some incentive. 2 Timothy 4, 8, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. Well, now, brethren, now we're the sons of God. But it doesn't yet appear what we shall be. But we know when we see him. We know that we just get a glimpse of him that we'll be like him. We'll be changed into the same image. Now, God, he's... Christ is shown as anticipating this day too. See, we're not alone in this anticipation. Christ is fellowshipping with us. He's anticipating this. Remember in Malachi 3.17, you kind of get the heart of God. He says, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord. What's he doing? He's looking forward to the time when we're gathered together in one. Amen. And he says, those, they're, they're, them, those, which are those? The ones that love his appearing. The ones that are waiting for his son from heaven. The ones that are looking for him. When I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spares his own son that serveth him. Then shall he return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth and him that serveth him not. Well, the day is coming. We're looking for him now. See, we've, we've got a head start, so to speak. Yes. We're, we're in the right stance. We're looking for his son from heaven. And we're looking for good things today. See, it's right to anticipate good things today yes. because Christ is here with us. Now it's just, now we have it in part. We see in part, but that part's good, is it not? Let's um, sanctify this day. We've set it apart already. Let's... um. Be looking for these, as these good things fall from heaven, and let's, let's be quick to, to, to eat them up, so to speak.